Over the past several months, we have been conducting an integrative review of the literature to synthesize research evidence from studies to identify settlement needs, barriers, and behaviors of professional immigrants in the digital space. We have compiled over 300 articles and reports from electronic databases, settlement organization websites. Through a systematic process, we have selected over 20 sources that met our specific criteria. A lot of our findings emphasize the importance of professional networking for this population of immigrants when reestablishing their careers. When the professional network is very limited or lacking, it creates additional challenges for this population, such as job searching without having the full scope of the specific position or company or even having a referral from their network. Literature focusing on online information seeking behaviors of professional immigrants is relatively a new research topic of interest. Although our findings are limited, it still provides insight into the digital behaviors of this population. For instance, there's so much online information readily available, yet it is challenging to critically determine accurate and concise information. Our review of the literature pointed out the complexities, irrelevancies, inaccuracies, and absence of certain information made available for professional immigrants. This can affect their knowledge of what to do post-arrival, their mental preparedness, accessibility and effectiveness of settlement services, and realistic life in Canada and expectations in a Canadian work environment. There's also limited research findings focusing on remote settlement services. However, it's a building research topic due to the surge of remote services during the pandemic. The published studies we collected indicated the positive outcomes of remote program and services, which include high attendance rates due to its flexibility and accommodation for working professionals. Also the ability to build social and cultural capital, improvement of English language and communication skills, and successful work placement. The available literature covered more about the concerns with existing services. For example, the existing services tailored for professional immigrants were too basic and generic, had objectives that mismatched with requirements of certain governing bodies of regulated professions, also had limited courses or bridging programs to fill in education gaps, lacked orientation to Canadian professional practices, and expectations and focus too much on entry-level positions over sector-specific or profession-specific training. Additionally, existing services could be marketed better to bring awareness and familiarity because a lot of the research findings indicated that a large amount of professional immigrants were not aware of such services, which could have been beneficial in their early phase of settlement. This just covers some of our findings, but these are the key themes we have found.